Namaste. Today's pose is Utkatasana, chair pose. I know many of you might not like it, but it is a very common pose in my classes. It is a very common pose in a lot of yoga classes, so we need to get the alignment right. So most often, chair is taught with toes touching and heels apart. I find this to be difficult. I don't really like this variation, but of course you are able to do it. If you are able to do it and it's comfortable in your body, feel free to do so. So toes touching, heels apart. I prefer to do it with my feet hip distance apart. Your choice. So stand as though we're in Tadasana. Feet hip distance apart, toes spread wide, press into all four corners of the feet, engage the core, bend the knees, and imagine that you are sitting into a chair behind you. You can take your hands forward for balance. Wherever your toes are, whether they're touching or whether they're far apart, make sure that you can see them. So uh, a common misalignment that I see in chair is that people bend the knees, if you can see my knees go over my toes, and they're not using their hips, they're not sitting far back with their hips, which is not great for the knees. So when you do chair, bend at the knees, but keep the knees over the ankles as best you can. Engage the core, make sure you don't arch in the lower back, so pull those hip points up towards your chin. Engage the core, lengthen the tailbone away from you, press down through all four corners of the feet, make sure you can see your toes, sink deeper than you want to, lift through the heart space, so we don't want to be rounded over our legs either, we want a long flat back. So lift through the heart space, sink deeper, sink back through the hips. And you can take your hands above your head. You can take goal post arms if you have tight shoulders. You can have hands at prayer. You can have your hands close above your head if your traps, your shoulders allow that. You can have your hands forward of your shoulders. Find a lot of length along the back of the spine so your chin is just slightly tucked in. Your thighs are squeezing together and if you're not sure if you're squeezing hard enough, you can again grab that block and squeeze. Just always make sure that your hips are back, your knees are over your ankles as best you can. Press down through the feet, your whole lower body is engaged. And if you have sensitive knees and going that deep in a chair is difficult for you, you can always stay a little higher. Just bend the knees a little bit, make sure they don't go over the toes, press the hip back, hips back, core engaged, heart lifts, just as if you were going deeper into the pose. I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. If you have any questions, any more questions beyond that, let me know in the comments below, and thank you for joining me today. I'll see you tomorrow. Namaste.